The Kyosho Optima Mid, one of the greatest vintage RC cars of all time. Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends and once again thank you for stopping by. So obviously today's video is Kyosho Legends. So straight away I want to say a massive thank you to David in the UK who sent me this. Um, David's generosity again is just next level and it's absolutely blown me away. Um, so I've actually got my own Kyosho Optima Mid which is just outstanding. So David contacted me because of my Optima Pro um, restoration that I've been doing and we just got into sort of a communication in general about RC and he was showing me pictures of his amazing um, RC collection which is really chaos or top heavy um, and as you can see from the pictures he's got some absolutely amazing stuff and that last picture with them all together <laughs> that's pretty impressive uh, I've looked at that picture a lot to be honest so he basically told me that through spares because of all the restorations he's done he basically built this mid from spares which is just incredible really um, and then got to the point of could I donate it to your channel are you interested and of course I'm like oh god yes please uh, and he wouldn't take a penny for it um, he just said it was a channel donation he wouldn't even take the, the shipping costs I couldn't pay that either so again just Absolutely next level generosity, David. So let's drag a camera over and we'll have a look at it, everything he sent me because it's not just this car. Um, this has got a particularly cool Kyosho motor in it as well, which I'll show you. Um, and obviously the, the condition of the car, which is really nice. And again, it's just some other cool stuff that he sent me with it. So obviously this is the car he sent me and uh, it's in absolutely great condition, to be honest. Um, I don't think I'm going to have to hardly touch a car everything feels super smooth on it um even the shocks they're uh yeah it's just absolutely superb just what a thing i mean what a true icon from the late 80s possibly kyosho's most famous car in, in my opinion um if you don't know it it's it's a it's a racing buggy from back in the day it's four-wheel drive it's belt driven um the Optima Mid was the car that came straight after the last Optima, which was the Pro Edition. Um, and obviously the, the whole car basically changed from the, the Optima when it went to the Mid. Um, main change being belt driven instead of chain. Um, and the Mid came with the Option House Gold shocks on as standard. And then after that we did the Turbo Optima Mid. Um, had the same gold shocks, countersunk screws underneath. I think it had front and rear sway bars. I think it was they did away with the metal towers and it went to FRP I think I can't remember I'm pretty sure that was the changes and then it had a same body shell and wing but um, a different turbo um, decal set with it really good looking thing it came with the same wheels as well the uh, the Bridgestones and the what, what are the tyres the Bridgestone OT 22s I think they are and then just quickly from that side um, adjustable wing angle this was all standard from Kyosho which you know this 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 is what separated Kyosho from Tamiya um, Tamiya a lot of people say Tamiya were almost um, toy grade they weren't they were always hobby grade but um, Kyosho made cars straight out of the box for the track where obviously Tamiya didn't so yeah I mean you can get into that argument who was the best I don't think any particular of the two manufacturers are better I just think they, they aimed their cars at different things and uh, Kyosho were completely track based. What I'll do now is I'll just whiz this motor out quickly to show you. So the motor that came with it is the uh, Kyosho Le Mans 240ST. Cracking motor and really period correct for the mid. Now the cool thing is um, I've checked a common the brushes on this and it's very it's in great condition. So the decal itself isn't the best, it's a little bit faded, but MCI actually do a reproduction decal for the 240ST, which is just absolutely superb. So when I'm starting to order the bits for this, I'll get a brand new decal for it and um, once that comes we'll we'll clean the motor up and it's gonna look absolutely mint. And what else I just should have shown you is just how smooth this thing is. That's obviously rear diff onto the front, absolutely gorgeous. And then 
overall drive super smooth and as I say the shocks just feel superb the whole thing feels superb um, oh I'm excited about this one right let's have a look what else we got and then in the same box we got the um, the clear um, gearbox protector we've got the um, battery straps in there to put on we've got the spur gear arrangement we got um, two spare Bridgestone um, wheels. Now I will have to, I've got a bit of work on those ones to clean them up. But obviously I've got six now, so I'll I'll choose the best four. And then this, so we've got a diff, a spare diff, but it's actually fitted one way one way bearings in it, which is um, that's mega cool. Not seen that before. So you could have um, you could have it um, the front set up as a, a one way race car if you wanted. So that might be something we try in the future and see what the differences are when we're running it. He also sent me this um, Palmer poster, which is just mega, mega cool, of all the old aftermarket shells they did for the various cars. That's pretty special to me, I've got to be honest. And as I think a few of you know, I'm kind of putting a sort of brochures, catalogues, leaflets kind of collection together. So when, they, when I found this in the box, because that is very special to me. Also in the box was a brand new set of what I believe to be MCI decals for the mid. That's just outstanding. Um, we'll talk about the decals in the next mid video because Kyosho were a bugger for... The decals never kind of matched properly, 100% what the box art looked like. Um, certainly on the mid and the pro and I believe a few others. But um, yeah, it's mega cool to have the decals already. And also a Radio Control Model Cars magazine from October 1988. Very special this particular edition for me. And um, it just said at the time it, it had it and would I like it in the box. And obviously I'm starting to put a few of these together. But I actually do remember this particular edition because of the, the lovely cover on it. But more so because one of the articles in it and that's what I'm talking about. So why this is mega special, the when the in eighty eight when the Avanti came out, um we were all, it was started to we started to see it in the magazines. But in this particular edition, which was after obviously it had been launched, this is when the the magazine guys actually got their hands on it. And it's so interesting and we will we will do a golden era of RC video um about these other magazines I've got and we'll feature this. Because it tells you what they did, where we were like, they threw away the Technigold motor, they threw away the cam, cam lock um, wheels, they also got rid of the tyres, put narrow Schumachers on, and uh, ended up putting a Palmer modified in, or a stock actually, I do apologise. And it just, it goes through in the article, just them trying to get the car up to spec and up to speed against all the other cars. And at the end of it, they actually have got a, a very working well Avanti on the track but um, yeah it's it's a great insight from sort of professional racers getting hold of this brand new Avanti kit and then doing everything they need to do to make it sort of race ready as it were fantastic article so just an extremely cool project to have I'm absolutely over the moon and as you can see it this doesn't need a great deal so I need to get on and order um, a set of reproduction or T22 Bridgestone tyres from Marwan. Um, I just got a full set actually for my Optima Pro, so I'll order another full set of those because they're great tyres. Obviously we've got the decals for it, so we'll have to order. Now I'm going to look into the body set. Um, I might, because obviously TB do, TBG do them on eBay, but also um, Camtech do them. and. Um, I probably just need to do a little bit of research to which one is a better fit. Um, it's quite important because on the mid, you have to cut a large chunk of the body away for the where the gearbox is. And uh, yeah, it's quite a difficult cut to make. So I'll, um, I'll see if anyone else, I wonder if Penguin do a body set for it as well. Anyway, whichever the best reproduction body set I can find, I'll get, I'll get that on order. And then when those bits arrive, you know, it's just really the wheels to sort out, clean them up. Um, I don't know if the tyres are glued. Don't feel like they are. But anyway, I'll check that. Um, and that's really, oh, and a decal for the motor as well. 
but um, that's all it really needs and then I would like to get it out running um, now I've had a quite a, well, I've had a lot of optimum mids actually through the years um, but I did have one on the channel before but unfortunately it was kind of near the beginning of a channel where I was having to sort of um, sell on the stuff I was showing on the channel to get the funds back in to buy other stuff um, so this is just 100% for my collection which is just awesome this is a picture of the last one I did a, a restoration on it was a really nice looking thing um, again it was all reproduction um, body shell decals and what have you um, and we actually got that car out running um, so I'll just put this short clip up of the car actually actually running To be honest, that was an absolute terrible day out. I'd taken five or six cars um, a couple of hours away somewhere to that beach setting with the purpose of getting some fantastic scenery, but um, it was really fine sand. It was freezing cold. The whatever, I can't remember what setup was in the car. I think we were using running an, a Yokomo um, brush mortar on 2S maybe, and the... I was having massive problems with the um, Hobbywing 1060 cut, kept cutting out, so the car was just stop and start and we had to keep turning this on and off switch on. Then I think we locked, we, I <laughs> locked one of the diffs up with sand, um, so it was kind of just running at two wheel drive in the end and it was just, it, I made the video for the sake of making a YouTube video which is the worst thing in the world to do, so I, I had a right job on when I got it back I had to completely restrip it I think I damaged or oh, I'd, I'd basically 100% yeah blocked one of the diffs it was just completely compact with sand and uh, it was like a three day a three day job to um, free it all up big mistake that one so we'll get the stuff on order now because it's going to take a while to arrive um, and I'll put this away somewhere safe for now and uh it's now officially on the to-do list, which is awesome. Can't wait for this one. So, yeah, a massive thank you again to David for your generos generosity. It's honestly massively appreciated. Um, I can't tell you how much. So, yeah, we'll end this video here with the Kyosho Optima Mid. What an absolute classic. So, my friends, as always, thanks so much for watching. It's massively appreciated if you are new to this channel and this is the first time you've come across us if you could maybe give this video a thumbs up and um, maybe subscribe to us and if you do that smash that notification bell for our weekly videos so you don't miss anything we try to post two to three videos every week so as always my friends happy assy mm -hmm.